morning guys so you probably noticed that okay sorry if this car is so loud this car is so loud so please forgive me before this but I had to take this car because Tav has to go pick up Hunter from school and take the kids so uh, you probably noticed that we've been in my for a little while again well, like a day or two but like let's just talk about what's going on so I've been telling you guys that I think it's weird that my levels aren't going down right like I didn't know that my levels weren't going down like I just knew the tests were getting lighter they were just actually they were getting darker which is kind of weird um, so they just it kept getting darker and I thought it was really really strange so and I've been having a lot of like left ovary pain and I've been telling everybody this for like a week. And everybody's just like, oh, it's fine, it's fine. Sometimes it takes your levels a long time to drop, blah, 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 blah. Well, I go to the, get my blood drawn because my doctor's like, okay, you need to go get your blood drawn and see what the levels are. So I go get them done and they only dropped three points in almost 10 days. Like, it's not normal. So they went from 227 to 224 and I had already completely stopped bleeding she said I completely like miscarried and everything so clearly I didn't so she said that um, she was scheduling me to come in today but because I was having so much pain that I should be go to, I should go to the ER and be seen so I went to the ER and I started bleeding a ton when they did the ultrasound and there was so much stuff like in my uterus and in my ovaries and they can't tell if it's a topic or not. Like there's a mass in my ovaries but they can't tell what it is. And they said there's this still a corpus luteum or something like that. So that could be what's still creating the HCG or whatever, I have no clue. So anyways, there's like three cysts in my right ovary. There's a mass like in my left ovary or something and there's a, corpus luteum on my right side or something like that and so I was bleeding some more and then I was telling them about sounds really gross but I was telling them about the discharge I've been having um, for like a couple days I was having like this greenish like snot looking discharge and so they think that I might have had like an infection so we are I'm going today for my pre-op for with my doctor and I'll let you know how that goes because I didn't even know I was like getting surgery surgery I thought they did that in the office like you know like I don't know so no the hospital called me yesterday and said oh we have your schedule or your surgery scheduled for 1 30 on Friday I was like uh she's like you sound confused what's wrong I said nobody's told me this they just I guess guess I could make it well I, you know I can make it but you know what I mean so and I'm sick on top of that so it's even wonderfuler so wonderfuler it's a work I'm going for pre-op today and then I go for my surgery tomorrow and Tav is gonna take me in Patty Tav's mom's gonna watch the boys so thank you Patty and you guys I have been crying like a basket case like it's no joke like I've been fine because I haven't had to think about this like I just don't think about it when I don't think about it I don't hurt and when I don't hurt I don't cry when I don't cry everything's fine so I finally just broke down yesterday and I bawled my eyes out all day long and I just I've never felt so alone you know that saying like you feel alone in a room full of crowded people like I've never felt like so alone like even with everybody telling me like it's gonna be okay it's gonna be all right and I just I just feel so sad you guys and that I just have all this dead stuff inside me just makes me even more sad like I just want it out I just want it to be done with like I thought it was done with and it's not it's like the never-ending miscarriage like I didn't know that they put you under to have a DNC and the only yeah like I don't know I'm so nervous you guys 
I didn't know they put you under to have a DNC. So I have to go into the hospital tomorrow at 11.30, and then the surgery's at 1.30, and they're gonna try and just do a DNC first, and they might have to do like a laparoscopy, is that how you say it, um, to get the thing out of my ovary. But I guess we're just playing it by ear or whatever, so I have no clue. But you guys, my heart hurts so bad. Like, and I'm sorry that we've been skipping a video here and there. It's just as hard. This is really hard, and this is our life, and I want to share it with you guys. And I've been trying to be consistent, and it's just really hard when all I want to do is cry. And that like ha like goes with work too. Like work, it is. I love like. Don't get me wrong, I love what I do, but right now it just seems like, like, I don't know how to say it without being blunt, like it seems like the most fucked up thing to do that I get to make items for other people who are going to have their babies and I'm not. And it just seems so messed up and I just can't get myself to do it and it's killing me but I know I need to because I don't know how I'm gonna feel tomorrow. So, I'm gonna try my hardest to come home and work as much as I possibly can today, and I just, you guys, I just feel like I'm in like a steep hole just drowning. And I don't see a light at the end of the tunnel. And I know like some people don't understand I, they, I get it like you don't understand until you've been through it because like you always like like a, in before our people will lose their babies they just tell oh I'm so sorry for your loss but you have no clue how it feels until you've been through it like I feel like it's the worst heartbreak I've ever had because it's not like a boyfriend who breaks up with you or something like that. It's not something that left or went away. It, it's something that could have been born and just died. And it's just it's killing me, you guys. And I'm trying not to cry today. And I'm so nervous for tomorrow and I'm hurting so bad. And I just, just want this to be done with. Like, I wouldn't wish this evil on anybody. And sometimes I just wonder like, why? Why me? Why this? Why? What am I supposed to learn from this situation? Like, I don't know. It hurts so bad. But anyways, I'll go ahead and update you guys when I get done with the doctor's appointment and let you know how the whole pre-op thing goes. So, anyways. I thought I'd do an update really quick. I do an update really quick. So, I just got out of my doctor's appointment and she said that everything's scheduled for tomorrow. Um, if they do the DNC and they can't find everything um, and they think it might be a tubal, instead of doing the laparoscopy, she's just gonna give me a shot of methotrexate and that should get rid of the situation. She said, um, so I guess we're just waiting. I'm like so nauseous right now. You guys, I'm so nervous. And I'm so sad. We're gonna try not to think about it. Uh, I'm just waiting here at the park for Tav and the boys to get here. So I guess spend a little bit of time with them before I do some work. Cause I need to try and get out whatever I can today. Cause um, I'll probably be down for a couple days after tomorrow. So yeah, anyways, this is, um, today is the what is today? Today's the 15th. So you're going to be seeing this the day that it's happening. And so tomorrow, Friday, is the day I'm going to go be getting surgery. So I'll definitely 
record us going there. And yeah, I just, and then after this we'll resume our vlogs again, but I'm just having a really hard time, you guys, and I don't know, I just feel so sad and I don't know what to do. Like, selling Tav is just, and it feels like part of me is missing, like part of my heart is missing, like, and it just sucks that I've have to, had to go this long. It's been since May 28th that I've known that there's like a dead whatever inside of me and it's just, I'm just ready for it to be over with. Um, she did tell me that after the DNC, we can try again. There's no need to wait if we want to try again. Um, but I guess we'll just see. But anyways, uh, I don't think there's very much else to update on. I'm really nervous to go under. I don't know why I'm so nervous. But uh, that's pretty much it for today's little quick update video. I will go ahead and update you guys on social media. So if you're not following us on social media, I usually update there first. So go ahead and follow us on Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook. They're all at Felicia Nicole. And yeah. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of our updates following our journey. And I will update you guys tomorrow in our next video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. I just want to say thank you. We're almost to a thousand subscribers and I think that's fantastic. And we love making videos. I'm sorry they've been a little splotchy lately. Um, I think I've missed a, just a, a video here and there. Um, but we have a lot going on and I appreciate each and every one of you who understand and are supportive and yeah just it's crazy that we almost have a thousand people who follow us <laughs> I don't know that's crazy so anyways thank you guys so much and yeah we'll see you guys tomorrow Bye.